Battleground Public Schools has a new report card for students in kindergarten through fourth grades. The new report card brings consistency to student reporting, is aligned with the new Washington State Learning Standards, and is designed to be user-friendly for teachers, parents, and students. We believe that accurate reporting leads to informed decisions and results in better student learning. Let's take a few moments to review the new report card. The front of the report card has your child's name and school image on it. The inside of the report card presents a key for understanding your child's scores. Our new reporting system separates scores on academic subjects from scores on habits for successful learners. This allows more accurate reporting of your child's progress and gives information to support your child's learning and school behavior. Let's look at the new scoring for academic subjects. Academic subjects are graded on a four-point scale. Grades range from a one, or beginning, to a four, or exemplary. You will notice the report card is split into two semesters. Grades for each semester provide a measure of how well your child understands the standards for that subject area at that point in the year. Our goal for students is to achieve a three in all subject areas. A three indicates that a student understands the content to that point in the school year and is on track to move to the next level of learning. A grade of one or two means that your student is not at grade level and might need additional support to become proficient in the classroom material. A score of four indicates that a student has reached a level that shows a considerable depth of knowledge at this grade level. Let's dig into the grading a little further with a basketball analogy. A student who receives a one is someone who is just learning the fundamental skills of basketball. The student might understand the difference between each skill, but needs coaching and practice to fully develop the basic skills. A student who receives a score of two can be compared to a student who is working toward de demonstrating the fundamental skills of basketball. The student might be okay at dribbling or passing, but still needs work in other areas, such as shooting. Additional training and practice is needed to further develop the student's skills. A student who receives a three can demonstrate the fundamental skills of basketball. The student can shoot, dribble, and pass with correct form and accuracy. This student is ready for the next level of learning. A student who receives a four can demonstrate the skills of a three and can apply the skills to a game, understanding offense, defense, and team dynamics. As the grades increase in number, so does the depth of understanding. You can learn more about the grading scale by reading the parent guide. Now let's look at habits for successful learners. This is a new set of grades for our students and scores an array of behaviors like cooperation, effort, and focus. Students are scored on a three-point scale that includes an R for rarely demonstrated, an S for sometimes demonstrated, and a T for typically demonstrated. Our goal is for students to have a T for typically demonstrated in all of these areas. The habits for successful learners are important components to a successful classroom and educational experience. Separating scores for successful habits from academic subjects allows teachers, staff, and parents to provide more targeted support for each child's need. The report card will also indicate scores for additional programs that your child participates in and will show a record of your child's attendance. Below the key, you will find a list of academic subjects that are broken into specific content areas. Each area will have an academic score from one to four. Each of these academic subject areas has a list of standards and expectations. We have created a web page that lists the standards for each grade level and subject area. An online version of this report card and parent guide is available on the district website with active hyperlinks to take you directly to the academic standards for each content area. In addition to scores, the report card has areas for teacher comments. Teachers might use this space for additional comments or suggestions if they choose. The back of the report card has a final section that highlights two district assessments, including the Easy CBM and Fontes and Pinnell. The Easy CBM scores are reported on a scale from low risk to high risk and show whether a student is at risk of falling behind grade level expectations. Students identified at high risk or some risk on Easy CBM will be assessed with Fontes and Pinnell screening to determine specific needs. The higher the risk, the more intervention is needed for the student to achieve the standards in that subject area. Some students at low risk also could receive Fontes and Pinnell testing as a reading diagnostic tool. The final piece of the report card is the box labeled Next Steps. This section offers suggestions for ways that parents can support their children's learning and for where to find additional resources. 
We recommend parents take time to read through the Parent Resource Guide and become familiar with the new reporting system. The guide includes key attributes of standards-based reporting, a glossary of terms, information on grading, and frequently asked questions. The Parent Guide will be sent home with every family as a resource tool. The guide is also available online as an interactive flipbook. We hope this video has helped you understand the new K-4 report card and standards-based reporting at Battleground Public Schools. If you have any questions, please talk with your child's teacher or administrator. Thank you for supporting Battleground Public Schools. You can learn more on the district website at www.battlegroundps.org forward slash district forward slash SBR.